Remains is a large prospective randomized trial which included 300 patients who were randomized to receive either a Belamaf with pomalidomide dexamethasone or pomalidomide dexamethasone with bortezomib. These were patients that had received at least one prior line of therapy that should have included clenalidomide, patients who could be exposed to bortezomib but not resistant or intolerant, and also we could have received uh, uh, daratumumab. Uh, the treatment uh, schedule included uh, Belamaf given initially for the first course at a dose of 2.5 milligram per kilogram every four weeks, but then after the first course, the dose was reduced at 1.9 milligram per kilogram. Only the light dexamethasone and bortezomib were given as usual. The primary endpoint was progression-free survival. Uh, and it was met. The progression-free survival was uh, in favor of the investigation alarm with a hazard ratio of 0.52, meaning that there was a 50% uh, uh, a reduction of progression or death in favor of uh, Belamath with pomalidomide and dexamethasone. The main uh, complication, the main side, if the, uh, side effect of the combination was the well-established ocular toxicity, which uh, has to do with a microcystic keratopathy induced by Belamath. But uh, a blurred vision, which actually is the toxicity that affects the daily activity of the patients, occurred in approximately 30% of the patients, but with appropriate measures, meaning by giving the drug every four weeks or every eight weeks or every 12 weeks, provided the keratopathy had recovered, uh, the uh, majority of the patients, uh, uh, almost all the patients had uh, a visual acuity that returned to their baseline. So yes, uh, there is uh, ocular toxicity. It is manageable. Uh, it may affect uh, at the beginning the quality of life of the patients, but uh, I believe that with appropriate measures, uh, this uh, issue can be solved. I believe that uh, this uh, study uh, is establishing a Belamaf with pomalidomide dexamethasone as a new standard of care uh, for the second line therapy or the third line therapy for patients who are resistant to lenalidomide and also have been exposed or are resistant to the CD38 monoclonal antibody. And this will be uh, an enlarging patient population because we know that uh, anti CD38 monoclonal antibodies. I have positive data in the frontline setting, both in younger patients and in older patients. So I believe that now we may say that we have a new standard of care. The uh, combination of uh, uh, povalidomide dexamethasone with belantamab uh, is clearly active. The data with the DREAM3 study where a monotherapy Belatamab of Fodotin was compared to pomalidomide dexamethasone, uh, showed at uh, the initial analysis that there was no benefit. However, uh, we have to wait for more follow up uh, because uh, the duration of response in this study uh, is uh, much longer. So we have to see whether this data change. With dream aid study, we still uh, follow the patients because already we are seeing a survival advantage in favor of the combination with the hazard rate, ratio of 0.77. So the uh, analysis is event driven. So according to the events that we'll have, we'll perform another analysis for PFS and also for overall survival. Right.